Coach, how have you kind of seen kind of why Noah these last few weeks? What's kind of allowed him to maybe take another step? Yeah, well, I mean, he's done that all year. Um, he plays hard, plays with passion, loves the game, really reminds me of Stanley last year. I mean, every time he steps on the field, um, he has that enthusiasm, that excitement. Um, you know, he's been doing a great job, running great routes. Um, he's getting better each week. Um, you know, there's times this season where maybe the quarterback didn't see him or didn't have time or just they just weren't connecting. But uh, we love what he's brought on and off the field, and uh, uh, he's done a great job. You had talked throughout the season about receivers need to be where the quarterbacks expect them yeah. to be. How is, how is that process progressing? What, what do you mean? Yeah, it's getting better. Um, our job as receivers is when the quarterback hits his third step, fifth step, whatever it is, we have to create an accurate picture for him. We can't, there can't be any gray area. We've got to be where we're supposed to be so he has confidence. And uh, we're getting there. Uh, you know, Cunavai, he, he he's a guy that the quarterback has confidence in. J.D., obviously, now he needs to get confidence. Mike Williams, some of the other guys, you're on Woodyard, um, you know, so that when he's – when he hits his fifth, he knows we're going to be where we're supposed to be. And it comes down to running with speed, um, running fast, full speed, with technique and detail, and just make sure that we're, uh, we give the quarterback a clean picture. How often do your receivers have to kind of adjust their routes as they read the defense? Is it more, are are the, the routes adjustable or are they sort of set? No, most of them are. I mean, most of the routes are set, but depending on the coverage, you may have to inside release, outside release. You may have to, you know, stem. Um, vertical, you may have, you know, there's different things you have to do to get, to get open. Um, and our guys, you know, they, they understand that. So this is an offense where we have to have guys that can process, process quickly because coverage has changed. In this league, you know, uh, defense is secondary. They're going to show one high and then rotate to two high. And so things change on the move and uh, we've got to be able to adjust and uh, get to our spots as fast as we can. Yeah. Uh, what have you seen from them, especially over the last yeah, they've given up a lot of points, but if you look at them man for man, I mean, they're, they're very talented. Uh, they've got good size, good length, uh, secondary, uh, you know, they run around. They're going to get up in your face and press and make it difficult to get off the line of scrimmage. So, you know, it doesn't look like a team that's given up as many points as they have because they're, they're very athletic. Um, and so, you know, we've got to go in there and, and, uh, and, and, and execute and, and make sure we don't you know, you're on the road, so we can't beat ourselves, can't have the penalties, the turnovers, and, uh, and uh, get ready for a fight. You know, they've had a week off to rest, to get ready for us, so uh, we're going to get their best shot. With penalties, I think you only had like three uh, in that Wisconsin game. Yeah. Is that a pretty market improvement? Yeah, that's encouraging. That's encouraging. We'd like to go in with, with zero, but uh, it's encouraging. You know, can't turn the ball over. You know, we move the ball well against them, but uh, you can't have the turnovers, and, and you got to score when you get in the red zone. And, uh, you know, that last drive, uh, uh, the second to last drive, we, we turned the ball over on downs, went forward, and then the last drive, we got stopped at the one yard line. So then we turned the ball over, can't give up kickoff return. So uh, we got to play a clean game on the road and, uh, in order to be successful. In, in the quests to put together four quarters of good football, where do you feel like Saturday ranked for you guys? Or, or how do you feel like you did Saturday in, in doing? Yeah, getting closer. I don't know uh, how many times this year offense has been playing well, defense has been playing well, and special teams have been playing well. You know, it seems like any given day, the offense may be clicking and defense struggling. Our defense is rolling and we're struggling. And so, um, you know, it's imperative in this league that you've got to play offense, defense, special teams. Um, you know, you've got to, you've got to be in tune. And uh, so this, this week going on the road, I know Maryland, you know, they seem like they're down, but they're a tough opponent. And, uh, Offensively, though, yeah. those four quarters, did it, you know, did it it, Yeah, it's getting closer. Yeah, yeah, it's closer to what we expect. Um, you know, can't turn the ball over. But for the most part, uh, coming out of that game, we felt pretty good about ourselves. Ran the ball very well against a, against a tough run defense. Um, we were fishing in the pass game. But uh, in the end, all that matters is getting the win, getting the win. And we didn't do it. We didn't, you know, score enough points. So we've got to we got to make improvements. When it, comes to, when it comes to the red zone, yeah. especially passing the red zone, how much of it is about the play to call and how much of it is about having the players who can make the plays work? Well, that's not a red zone. That's, that's in, across the entire football field. You know, we're going to try to put our guys in the best place possible. But in the end, they've got to go and make the plays. They've got to make the throw, make the catch, make the block, make the run. 
um, as you get in the red zone, the space reduces. So, you know, there's going to be tighter coverages. And so receivers and, and uh, tight ends and running backs, we've got to, uh, you know, there's a little bit more pressure um, to separate and to get open. So, uh, you know, we're going to try to get the guys in the best play and they got to go out and execute. Do you feel like you have the, the big receivers that can just go and throw up yeah. the Not right now. Um, you know, we're going to recruit and, uh, you know, those bigger receivers, they're, they're your weapons down in the red zone and you can just throw it up to them and they can go get it. And so we're going to continue to recruit and try to find those bigger targets that will help out in the red zone. What kind of, I mean, specifically on that, what kind of an opportunity is there for somebody in your program yeah. to, you know, who does have size? Yeah. To you know, make it a significant difference. Yeah, a huge opportunity. You know, we're we're we're, we're not there yet, um, and so we're going to recruit our tails off and try to bring in guys and, and let them know there's the competition is open, and we're going to you're going to come in and you're going to have a chance to compete, and, and uh, we're going to looking for playmakers on the perimeter to go out there make plays and uh, at a, at a top five winning this college football program in the, in the in the in the country, and so uh, uh, I think guys re receivers are really excited about that opportunity and I feel like uh, by the end of the signing class we'll have some some uh, some guys that can come in and, and make make a difference yeah it starts with the old line you know they did a great job of covering up their guy creating a hole uh, Diedrich hit the hit the hole well hit it strong ran through tacklers just played a determined football game um, uh, in the back end I thought we blocked pretty well so that when he did get through the first line of defense, we were covering up the, the, the corners and the safeties so that he get extra yards. So, uh, you know, he just played hard and, and ran determined, and, and we're going to need the same uh, this weekend.